Alright guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a working PlayStation 1 emulator for your PC. Now the reason I'm making this video is because not long ago I was looking on YouTube for a PS1 emulator tutorial and they were either really bad or outdated as hell, so here I am. Now first we're going to go to the link in the description, the first one, which is going to take you to the download of the emulator itself. We're downloading the EPSX E version 2.0 here. Uh, if you're watching this later in the future and there may be newer versions released, just download the newest version of EPSXE that you can. I'm going to download it here with you guys just so you can see it's not a virus or anything like that. Just go ahead and save it to wherever. Next we're going to go to the second link in the description which is going to take you to the Emu Paradise link. This is for the BIOS files for the emulator. What you want to do is scroll down until you find PSX BIOS 15 images. You just want to click that and download that as well. So now you don't need either of these sites anymore, you can just close them off, you're done with them. So just go ahead and open up your downloads folder wherever you saved the files to that you just downloaded. And I'm going to move them onto the desktop. I'm also going to make a file here, or a folder, excuse me, just called PlayStation 1 Emulators. You want to move these RAR files into the folder you just created. And for PSX, you can open it up and drag out just one of the files. The file you guys are going to need is scph1001.bin. So just drag that out of the RAR file, and then you can just straight up delete the RAR file. You don't need it anymore. You just need that one file. Now you can go into the epsx e200 file and press extract here. This is going to just take everything out of the RAR folder and put it into this folder. And then you can delete the RAR folder, you don't need that anymore as well. So you should have all these files here and the BIOS file. Now lastly, you're going to want to go and find the games that you want. Now preferably you should have already owned these games, I don't recommend piracy. But if you've got no other option, cool ROM in the description here. Just click the third link, it'll take it up here, and it's basically got all the games you could need. Say if you wanted Spyro, like I'm going to be doing in this video, you just search Spyro into their search bar, press go, and find the game you want. So for me it'd be Spyro Year of the Dragon. Click that. Find the download page. Uh, you can use their installer. I don't recommend that. Find the small print that says alternate download link and that'll just give you the straight up file link. You don't have to deal with any bullshit there. So just do that, get the game and just move it onto your desktop like I have. You can see here I've got a file of PS1 games, just got my Spyro games in it. So once you've downloaded the game and put them into a folder, just move your PS1 games folder into your PS1 emulators folder. It just makes everything so that it's in the same place so you just don't get confused. You can find it later. So now that's pretty much the gist of it. Now we just have to configure our EPSXE. So I'm going to make a shortcut of EPSXE just so I can access it straight from the desktop. Now you're going to go into the BIOS folder and delete erase.me. And that's basically it. That's all you need to do in the folders themselves. Now you can just close this and just deal with the shortcut of the application itself. So you're going to go ahead and open up EPSXE. If you are going to be using a gamepad, uh, plug it in now before you open the file. And it should pop up here. You might get some sort of installation thing if it's the first time you've ever opened it. Very simple, next, 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 OK. It's, that's all it is. I don't have that because I've opened this before uh, previously. But once you've gone through the sort of brief installation, you want to go to the config and go to BIOS. Once this little drop down menu opens up, press select. And now we're going to be navigating to our 1001 file that we downloaded. So you can see here PSX SCPH 1001 and just press open. Press OK and that's it. That's all you need to do to configure your PSX. Now if you're using a gamepad, go into config again, go to gamepads, port 1, Pad one. And you can see here it'll pop up straight away. It's got all the f all the uh, different buttons you can configure yourself. I haven't actually got my gamepad plugged in right now, but essentially what you do is just select the button, 
and then press the button that you want that to correspond to on your gamepad. So for example, that's L2. Just press like L2 on your gamepad, click L1, up, left, right, down, so on. Just click the button that you want it to correspond to. If you're on PC, instead press the key that you want it to correspond to. So you can see here like A, S, Q, W, whatever. That's fully configured now. All you need to do is run any games you've got. Let's do that. Go to File, Run ISO. Navigate to where your game is. So for me, it's in my PS1 games folder. Find the ISO file for Spyro You're the Dragon, you can see here. And it's going to be very loud, but it's going to open up. I'm going to actually mute the Spyro sound before it deafens you all. But you can see here, it's opening straight up. No problem. I won't actually be able to go on the game itself because I haven't configured the uh, controller settings for myself, but uh, you can see here it's opening up fine. Sounds all working, as you can tell here. And that's basically it, you can just start playing the games now. Uh, if you want to play a different game, it's just the same thing, just close it off, press X, really quit, and you can just file run again. Or change disk, sorry, you have to do that if you've already run another disk. But Lastly here, we're going to show you how to navigate the actual visual settings of the games. You can see that it was not full screen for me. If you want it to be full screen, it looks like I have to close it and reopen it. Let's close and reopen it, go to config, go to video. It'll open up here and you can either go full screen mode or windowed mode. I play in windowed mode, but you can just go full screen mode and it'll be full screen. If you want it in windowed mode, just click windows mode and change the resolution to whatever you want. I'm playing 1440 If you've got a smaller monitor, it's like 1270 by 980. Whatever you've got. And that's basically the gist of it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I, I hope it was a lot better than the other ones on YouTube right now. I tried to be as concise as I could just to get the actual facts out there. Instead of rambling on about just complete nonsense, which is, is irrelevant. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've got any problems, please just comment below. If I can't answer it myself, I'm sure someone else will be able to. I'll see you guys next time.